Another video on the art how to remove the RCM restraint control module on a Tesla Model Y. Uh, you would be able to find plenty of RCM removal videos for Model 3. They mark as the same as Model Y. Roughly the same about where the bolts are, but there's something slightly different for Model Y compared to Model 3 that I kind of figured out myself. Um, so the center console was here before, before the removal is actually necessary for Model Y to remove that mainly because Model Y is a little bit taller than that. Um, so you would have two 10 millimeter on this side about uh, at these two location. Uh, when the center console was here, you would have one here, one here, uh, the same way the other side, one here, one here. So four on in the front, two in the back, um, two in the back connected right around right. Let me improve the lighting a little bit. Connected around right. Here, this one and two, those two, those are two in the back. So you will see the fasteners right here, uh, six piece of 10 millimeter, three of the nuts, that nuts and washer, that's from the RC, actual RCM mo uh, module. So the that's how it works. Then after that, you should, be, on the Model 3, you should be able to just lift up the entire center console and you should be good to go, mainly because the entire center console, the bottom and center console flushes with the, the floor. So for Model Y, the tricky part is you can see here that uh, the, this is the floor, this is where the bottom of the center console, there's actually about like maybe a couple inches difference. So this is where the difference kick in. You would actually need to remove the center console fully. So after you remove all the six bolts, there's one uh, harness cable from right here. You need to disconnect it. It's relatively simple, you just have to press it. So on this end, there's a there's a uh, there's a there's a tab. You just press the tab and pull it out. Right. Same thing for the back. Uh, if you try to do, try to do ODB before, you probably have run into this. Um, this piece was connected to the uh, the female one, and there's a, another tab right here. So you, you use a puller, you press right here and take it out. So once you take out those two things, you lift up the bottom, the rear. Lift up the rear first then pull it towards the rear first, and then you lift up the front. You take the entire thing out from the rear passenger side. So I took on mine, that's in order to get to the RCM, remove it. Uh, since I'm not gonna get my RCM in a couple of weeks, I'm just gonna put it back right afterwards, but I'm not gonna bother making a video here. I will link videos. I'll link the description to videos um, about the ones that I refer to for where are the bolts are located on the Model 3. And here we go. After that, you get to this part. This is after you remove the center console. You will see this bracket. Uh, it's a center console bracket. It's plastic. You should be able to take it out relatively easily. Uh, it says it has four different tabs. I believe it's right here. One, one, two, three, four. There's another tab. Ah, oh, sorry. Video quality is not great. Another tab about right here but nothing was really really um coupled with the rest of the car you should be able to just pull it out with hand that's at least it's what i did you can put it on the side um you should be able to access the the bolts one is right here one is right here and the other one right here so it's basically like three corners of the square where the module was used to locate of course, you need to remove these two, uh, these two from the harness, which I'm also not gonna include uh, in this video, mainly because other people does a much better job than I did. Um, so I'm just gonna try to cover a part that's not covered in any other videos for Model 3. And after that, you should be able to just take it out with your hand. Uh, obviously, don't forget to disconnect the battery, both the low voltage and high battery. But then here we go. So this is a piece was connected right there. You see one, two, three nuts and these are the two uh, sockets for connecting the two harness. Uh, that's it.